Rocky Mountains and enjoying one of the fantastic shows. Here to tell us what we can look forward to this season is Jay and Kristen. Good morning. Good morning. Of course, always loving the sparkles in the wardrobe. <laughs> the sparkles come. All right, so big changes kind of happened during the quote unquote off season, during the winter um, up in Pigeon Forge. What can we look forward to this season? Well, well, go ahead. We're all big, one, <laughs> one big happy family. I mean, it's absolutely spectacular. Uh, in addition to Dollywood, Dolly Parton also has her hands in a lot of the different dinner theater properties and just shows in Pigeon Forge mm -hmm. in general. And, um, and it's really something for everyone there. So Dolly's now added to her family the Hatfield and McCoy dinner show, the Opry there, soon to be Pirate's Voyage. Uh, and like you mentioned, it's all under that great umbrella. So everything is going to have that exceptional level of entertainment that you two are a part of and bring us each and every night. Tell us what roles you're going to be playing this year. I know you're kind of changing around a little bit and trying some new things. Yeah, well, of course, I'll be at Stampede hosting the mm -hmm. show. Kristen's going to be hosting down the street at the uh, the Opry. But I recently got to talk like a pirate for a little bit on that one. <laughs> Really? Promotional videos. Yeah. <laughs> so that was fun. I got to do my little pirate voice for a second. Okay, let's hear it. Put you on the spot. Arr, ahoy there, mateys. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> that's good. I love it. It's not the same with the cowboy hat, but you know. It was I don't know. I kinda, you know, we are in <laughs> Tennessee, a cowboy pirate, right? <laughs> but we're so excited. I mean, Pirate's Voyage opens May 24th. Yes. So it's coming up quick. And our entire town is buzzing. We're super excited. We want everyone to come down the road and see us. And see the pirates, so. Absolutely. And we were talking about your gown, because as a former pageant girl, of course, I'm a gown lady myself. Oh, lovely. You get to wear 22 different outfits. Yes, this is one of 22 spectacular costumes that I get to wear throughout the Smoky Mountain Opry show, which is a fantastic musical variety show. We have a live band, we have dancers, we have singers, we have aerialists, we have comedians. There's really something for everyone, and we do all different styles of music, taking you through the decades. That's our theme this year, so starting in the 40s and each decade gets several songs devoted to it. It has everyone singing their singing along, tapping their feet, mm -hmm. having a good old time. And I'm a little partial because a lot of our viewers probably don't know this, but I used to dance at the Hatfield and McCoy dinner show, which is now under the Dolly umbrella. Yes. What are you guys looking forward to with that new dinner show as well? Well, I just recently got to go take my family to it a couple of weeks ago, and it was actually a great show. We had a blast. We got it to go in there and some of the best cloggers, which of course you know uh, about, and. Uh, not just the clogging, but the, the acting and the mm -hmm. singing. They have some phenomenal musicians that play in the show. And they actually high dive off these high dives into what uh, like a pond and it's right. like the craziest thing you've ever seen but it's so much fun for the family we had a great meal it's all you can eat uh, of course you get to eat you know, all the fried the chicken is so and good all the food is amazing <laughs> you know of course i love the food at the stampede but the food up there is just as good mm -hmm. a little different menu but it's fantastic and uh kids had a blast you know my kids got to go up and do a little bit of the audience participation stuff and my wife was on stage getting to do the so they all got to be on stage for a change instead of me that right. time so that was a lot of fun <laughs> but it's a great show great time to take the family to and and just like you said another option that we have and then of course with Pirates opening we have three different dinner show wow. options in Pigeon Forge and we're gonna offer combo tickets throughout the course of the year you can go see her show my show and you know any of the mm -hmm. other shows you'll be able to go check out all this great stuff in Pigeon Forge with your family one of the things I used to do was I would go to maybe the early performance of the Opry and then a dinner show after. Mm -hmm. So I got two shows and a meal. But yeah. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I mean, there's something for each night. Or like you said, you can double stack them up. And the other show that's fantastic is the Comedy Barn. Mm -hmm. That is one of my favorite shows in our whole stable of shows because it is one of the best clean comedy, family-friendly mm -hmm. comedy shows in the entire world. I, there are so many different types of performers, jugglers, comedians, ventriloquists. I, a little something for everyone, and, and literally every time I go, I'm wiping my, my eyes yes. because it is just that funny. <laughs> it is, and like you mentioned, it's, it's clean, family-friendly comedy, and that's, that's hard to find in today's world. It really is. Um, but I love this. There's literally something for everyone, from the great animals and the great tricks at the Stampede to you know what we're going to be able to experience with the Pirates Voyage. Um, of course, there is the sister performance in Myrtle Beach. That's yes. also Dolly's Pirate Voyage. Absolutely. It's going to be kind of similar to that, maybe, right? If yeah. somebody's been out that way. If you've been to the Myrtle Beach location, it's going to be very similar to that show. Um, the venue is slightly different, so we kind of had to alter a few things mm -hmm. with the way that the performances will be. But you're going to come to expect the same thing. Of course, the pirates, the swashbuckling, the sword fighting, the mermaids, the sea lions that perform in the show. 
so it's really amazing all of the, the special effects they have with the hydraulics coming up out of the water. Mm -hmm. It's really a great show. So uh, I'm excited to see it. I've seen the one in Myrtle Beach. I'm excited to see what they do with the one here in Pigeon. Y'all, I've so. always wanted to be a mermaid. I might have to move back to Pigeon. Absolutely. Now. <laughs> Absolutely. I think that's something that really captures the imagination of the little kids. Yes. Already I've seen pictures on social media of little kids with their snorkels on in the bathtub trying out their their, their mermaid yes. tails, so I think this is something that everyone's going to love. Well, and each show, you I mean, like we mentioned, is, it, it varies and has something for every member of the family and something for every night, but it's also going to allow everyone's imagination and hearts to be captured and shared on stage as well. Absolutely. All right, so where can we go to kind of find information on everything happening? Book all of our tickets and make our reservations. Well, of course, DP Stampede is the Stampede's website, mm -hmm. but I think even if you go to that website, there's links to all of our other properties and our other shows, so you can get onto that website and go from there, and it'll kind of take you wherever you need to go for what you want to book and uh, all the reservations are made through our call center, so mm -hmm. they'll take care of you and whatever you want to see. Worst case, just pick up the phone and tell them what you need. There you go. That's right. <laughs> there you go. All right. Well, Kristen and Jay, thanks so much for joining us. We wish you a wonderful season. Of course, I'll be up to see you guys soon we with can't my wait family. To have you. Um, and we'll see you guys again soon here on the show. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. It.